Hello everyone, this is our MAE 106 Verification 1 presentation. We are Team 610 and my name is Zihao Lu. I will be presenting our electrical design. So this is our exact wiring diagram that we will be using for our robot. And this is a schematic diagram. And here's a picture of the actual board that will be used on a test board. And this is a video of the sensor test. Zero monitor pulled up and both sensors are showing values and for the research it's currently on and right now the magnet is closer to the re-switch which turns it off also when we turn when we rotate the board it changes the value of the magnetometer and this is a video of an actuation power test as we can see servos turning so noise engaged so let's start with the open rule control first. So I decrease the time from 60 seconds to the 20 seconds to avoid the zero points. So I will not exceed the, the boundary. And I make it turn as center as possible to get the maximum points. And I change the time back to 60 for the hybrid and the uh, closed loop. So for the hybrid control, I my strategy is to make it turn as soon as possible to make it travel on the horizontal direction uh, as far as possible and uh, I did a similar thing for the closed loop control so I changed the first desired location uh, and a little bit to the right so it can travel more on the horizontal direction and here's the result we can see the hybrid loop and closed loop has a pretty good uh, points and open is not so good and uh, here's our code uh, here are some variables and we set it like before the time turn and after the time turn yeah it's just the uh, fire and the uh, reset piston and uh, when it's time turn it's just uh, turn on the steering system and change the direction hello my name is Jun Shen Chu from team 610 this is the model of our robot we made sure that every component was under the 12 inch diameter cylinders and the distance from the center of the the tie to the ground is 16 inches to prevent our robot from getting hit by other robots in the final competition. We try to put every component at the bottom half of the robot to lower the center of the gravity, thus increasing its stability. For the propulsion, we choose the crankshaft mode, which is more efficient than other modes because it keeps the most energy created by the air tie and air cylinders. For the steering, we choose a separate crack arm, which is stronger and has a better design flexibility. 